right, we have a 68 Bronco right here that has not been hacked up. It's not been nothing done to it. You can drive it around the yard a little bit or something if you want. So you can drive it around the yard or something if you want. You can see this transmission grabs, and this sucker sounds good. This hasn't been hacked on. There's no rust in that body. There's a little bit of exterior paints and things of that nature. But for the most part, this thing is exquisite, exquisite condition. This is a Ford Bronco 68. And you can tell there's a 289 under the hood. It's got a jacked up lift kit, about two inches, I believe. And this sucker is clean. What we're going to do is go on inside this vehicle here. And... All right, leave it running. Oh, I was going to leave it running open. Pop the hood open. You know these old school ones, you gotta pop the hood from the outside right here, but you can see the motor runs perfectly. How many miles on it since the rebuild? Uh, 60,000, I believe. 60, a little over 60,000 miles since rebuild. Uh, but this has been in the family. His uh, father-in-law owned it, then he's owned it for 20 years. And as you can tell, it's just dusty and dirty from sitting in his garage. It doesn't get out nearly as much as like. He's thinking about that big Tonka toy over there now. But, uh, he, you never know. He did put a power steering pump, which wasn't original. It is a four-core radiator, four-core carburetor, a power brake system that wasn't a that, that wasn't standard then, right? No, uh, it was uh, manual. They got a uh, disc brakes, new hub, rotors, lockout. Yep. Aftermarket disc brakes, drum and back. You got the lockout, custom rims that look really, really nice. It has the traction bars on the rear. How high lift you put on it? Two. Two inch lift. You see, there are just some minor little things, a little bit of gaskets and things of that nature that probably could use some uh, replacing. He did take out the ratchet rods and put the uh, the, the uh, Hydraulic. hydraulics in, but you can see there's no rust. This vehicle has really, really not been hacked on or chopped at. They've got the original jack instructions there. Jack instructions, and everything operates just as it's supposed to, as you can see. Plenty of room. He does have the back seat still and uh, the original radio in the box and this is an original motor to this vehicle belongs in this vehicle it's still with it and everything uh yeah he's on an auburn fan sticker there but we can we got we can get it off with a razor knife you got got to have problems with that hydraulics on here too. hydraulics now he did take uh aftermarket mirrors to put on if you want you'd have to find the original mirrors yeah that's no problem finding them all right, go ahead and close it. I'm going to take y'all inside the vehicle front engine compartment here. He put a for sale sign on it and ripped it off. And he was going to repaint it, but he wanted somebody to see that the condition of the body was in excellent shape and that nothing was being covered up. You can see underneath there's no rust. Never been up north. Never even been on road. It just looked really pretty in his garage. No, he's driven it a little bit. All right. Do have a few things like say you get some handles free for maybe but the doors are not rusted through a rock flew from his uh, lawn tractor and hit the window this will be replaced before you get it so there will be another window but that did break has the uh, bronco cover this is the interior there's three on the tree automatic uh for the four-wheel drives in the floor here these seats were a reupholstered i have another steering column too for it yeah the he says that second gear to third sticks a little but he has a whole nother steering column with everything working properly if somebody wants to put it in so that is available the top pole of course comes down and the windshield folds down as a if you're not a bronco aficionado these windshields fold down and clasp onto the hood here so you can really get down in the, in the wilderness or whatever it is you're going to do we go ahead and walk around this one good time and give you all a look. If you're interested in like, taking a vehicle, the ah, excuse me, to, interested in taking a look at this vehicle, it's two five six six nine four zero one nine four. Again, this has been in his, his family uh, all his life, from brand new to his owning it for the last 20 years. There's just no getting around how exquisite this thing's taken care of. Again, two five six six nine four zero one nine four. Thank you.